This is Professor Adam Scott Want from John Jay College of Criminal Justice at the City University of New York, and we're here with the first week of my iPad mini trial. I have completely replaced my cell phone. I no longer carry my iPad 5. I've completely replaced it with an iPad mini. I've been using it for a little bit over a week, and we are going to do a quick review of what it takes to use the iPad mini as a cell phone. If you are able to carry the iPad mini around with you wherever you go, you might not need a cell phone or an iPhone. Before I get to the telephone, let's talk about my first impressions of the iPad mini. My first impressions are that I absolutely love it. I think it's a great device. It's absolutely the perfect size and weight for me. Uh, the smart cover does work well to prop the device up. However, it comes off way too easily. And I find that very often while opening or closing the smart cover, um, it accidentally pops off. It has caused me to drop the smart cover on the ground several times, and it has also caused me to drop the iPad mini twice. Both times that I dropped the iPad mini so far, scuff marks on the back of it, which I will show in a later podcast, but luckily the Exoskin from Xgear Live uh, really protected the iPad, so I have no problems there. So let's take a look at how to use the iPad mini as a phone. Uh, so I have open on the screen here uh, five apps that I'm going to feature, uh, four of them having to do with cell phone or communication, and one of the apps is something that I think just stands out from the rest and that should be featured. So to use your iPad mini as a smartphone, you have several options. The first option, which is one of my favorite, is using Google Voice. I don't exactly talk on the phone that much. I do almost everything via text message. And the first option being Google Voice works out well for me because I could do all of my text messaging uh, right over my iPad mini. Obviously, uh, you can't see it on the back because I have the exoskin, but obviously I have the Verizon with LTE, so I don't have to be on Wi-Fi. I could be wherever I am, and so far it's worked out really nice. Google Voice is an older application. It's really meant for an iPhone. So if you use it at full size, it's a little smaller. Use it at two size, uh, two times the size it enlarges. Um, it's a basic program. I really wish Google would go in and further develop it. I really wish a third-party developer would give us some better options. Uh, the iPad mini really benefits by the use of Google Voice because just by adding Google Voice, you could have unlimited free text messaging. One of the things I like about Google Voice as well is that I could actually use the iPad mini to use Google Voice to dial my contacts and have the contact ring on another phone. So just for my iPad mini, I could activate it and have it call, let's say, my brother and have it ring on my office phone. And that's pretty cool too. But we have several other options for communication. Um, let's talk for a second about Apple's own iMessage. It's not a complete solution because iMessage only works Apple device to Apple device, but what iMessage does allow us to do is to go in and have messaging just like we would on our cell phone. There is no normal text messaging on an iPad mini with a Verizon data package. You don't get a normal phone number that you can go out and text to, so you can't use iMessages for regular SMS. Um, but that's why I like Google Voice. Google Voice is an excellent um, replacement for that. For voice communications and text messaging, we have an incredible program called Line 2. Um, I love Line 2 because Line 2 allows me to use uh, my iPad just like an iPhone. Having a Line 2 installed and making sure that the program is activated allows me to make phone calls. It allows me to send text messages. It allows me to receive phone calls just like I would if I were uh, using an iPhone. Um, I could pick up those phone calls on the device itself, or I could use a Bluetooth headset or a wired headset, such as the, the iBud headset, or we could use a more advanced headset like one from Bose. Uh, so Line 2, which is available on the App Store, is an excellent uh, possibility if you want to use the iPad mini as an iPhone. The app itself is free. However, to uh, have service, it costs $9 a month, and you do that directly in an in-app purchase. You are able to use favorites, have look at all your contacts. Uh, it has voicemail. It has uh, messaging. It has voicemail. So Line 2 is really a very good option for people. 
Um, the next option is Skype. And the reason why Skype is a wonderful option to people is it allows both um, Skype to Skype communication and then by paying a small fee, which is under $3 a month, you could, from Skype, you could call any number in the U.S. Um, and that's a really good option, too. Uh, for 2 to $3 a month, it won't give you your own phone number, but you can make outgoing phone calls to any number that you want simply by dialing it on the iPad. And that's something that works out fairly well. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that for about $30 a year, it would allow you to receive incoming phone calls with unlimited outgoing phone calls. Uh, so those are really three or four wonderful options for using the iPad mini as a full cell phone. Google Voice is my preferable option, but Google Voice combined with Line 2 gives you a wonderful array of possibilities. Let me show you one more program that I really enjoy, and that's a program called Living Earth. Living Earth is basically a weather app that allows you to see the weather, 47 degrees, high, low, time of day. Um, you could go from city to city. But a thing that I really like about Living Earth is not only does it give you the weather, but it also gives you a live representation of the current cloud covering over the Earth. It's called Living Earth because the cloud covering that you're seeing on the iPad is the actual cloud covering over that area. So I could very quickly spin to North America, zoom in on my area, and see what the cloud covering is currently like. I could also click on the weather to expand. I could see, for example, tomorrow, Sunday at 3 o'clock, what the exact weather will be. Um, so I'm a big fan of Living Earth. Um, it is an App Store purchase, and it's something that I think all users should check out. Again, my name is Adam Want. I am a professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice at the City University of New York, where I also serve as chair and senior researcher for the CUNY Skunk Works Academic Technology Research and Development Group. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Please subscribe and like to support my work. This was week one of four of my iPad mini trial. Next week, we'll talk about how I manage my files and my data on my iPad mini. Thank you for listening.